talking about the top 10 distinctions between millionaires and the middle class. Interesting concept, interesting philosophy. And where do most people live? Well, they live in the middle class. They think in the middle class. They operate their budget as a middle class person. They operate their time. They think, you know, what's my payment every month, right? There's a lot of different things that go along with the middle class mindset. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're very blessed in the United States because there is a middle class and a lot of other countries around the world, it's either poverty or super wealthy. And so here we do have that. But for those people that, you know, they want more out of life than that, they don't want to stay there and they're ready to get to the finish line, then we need to elevate the caliber of our thinking. We need to take our thoughts to a higher level. And you know, it's so interesting because I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I remember uh, I spent time with a mentor of mine. This was a gentleman that was huge in real estate. He owned one of the largest commercial real estate franchises in Southwest Florida. And I looked up to him so very much. And it was interesting because, you know, he had married a lady that had some kids, four kids, and those kids all grew up and went on. But they had one child together. And this one kid that they had together he was like night and day, he had a completely different mindset. The way he operated, the way he thought about college, the way he thought about finances, the way he thought about politics, everything was so, so very different because he had the millionaire mindset. And so I'm actually gonna be sharing with you guys some things that is from one of my favorite authors. This is a gentleman that we got to do some business with a number of years ago. His name is Keith Cameron Smith. He wrote a book called The Top 10 Distinctions Between the Millionaires and the Middle Class. He actually has a whole uh, series on the top 10 distinctions and there's different things he talks about. This is one of my favorites. So first distinction between the millionaires and the middle class. The millionaires think long term and the middle class, well, we think the here and now, we think short term. And oftentimes when we look around our lives, that's one thing that a lot of people deal with, whether it's, you know, coming down to building a business, right? Building a network marketing business or any business for that matter doesn't happen overnight. It's not easy, right? It takes work <laughs> and work is a four letter word and some people are not, you know, they're not mushing with that, right? But it's a process. And so, you know, extending our thinking, thinking further out into the future, when you look at people that, you know, are very wealthy and they're in like China and the Asian countries, how they plan businesses and, and, and what they do, they don't plan for five years or 10 years or they do like a hundred year business plans. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's crazy, right? And so, you know, let's extend our thinking a little bit to start thinking, you know, bigger picture, longer term. What's the vision for the life? What, if we're doing all this work now, what is going to tie into for the long run? So that is number one. Number two, this is a good one. Okay, millionaires talk about ideas. We're the middle class. They talk about things and they talk about other people. You know what I'm talking about, right? They got a little drama going on, a little, you know, gossip here in the house. That's not going to get anybody anywhere. What's going to get us someplace and what's going to get us moving forward is thinking about the concepts that are going to help us grow our business, you know, live the life that we want to live, have a, a, a family life and a relationships that are full of joy, full of prosperity. Those are the type of things that will help us move forward where, you know, the that often happens in the middle class where it's, you know, things and, and other people, and usually it's not in a positive sense, that's not gonna push us forward. So we've talked about two so far. Let's go to the next one. All right, millionaires take calculated risk. What do the middle class do? Well, they're afraid to taste, take risks. And this is a good one to think about when it comes to, you know, whether it's investing, whether it's going, you know, putting yourself out there and, you know, saying, hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to try whatever the case may be. Remember that, you know, the middle class, the average person that lives in the world today, they're afraid of taking risks. They, they, they run from it. They're intimidated by it, right? Let that not be you, my friend, because if we're going to push forward, if we're going to go to the next level, we have to be the type of person that does take those calculated risks to move forward. So that's number three. Number four, millionaires are continually learning and growing. Where the middle class, well, they thought that ended with school back in the day, right? I mean, think about it. When you think about some of the people that you know, how many people, the last book they read, the last personal development thing that they did, the last class they took was like in high school or college. 
and let's face it it's been quite a quite a few years since high school or college right so you know the millionaires are always expanding their mind you know a, a, a mind expanded can't contract right once you have a new way of thinking a new idea we can't go back to the old way of thinking right and so that's what it's going to take for you to get to the finish line you know this is this is the distinctions between the millionaires and the middle class but we can say you know the distinction between ambassadors and everybody else or diamonds or whatever the top level in your company is like the thinking that the, the vibration of thoughts on those type of levels it's just different right so we're talking about these so that we can you know look at ourselves and see if there's any different areas that we need to say, hey, I'm glad this was brought to my attention. I'm glad I have this food for thought because I want to change this area. All right. So next one. This is a good one, too. Millionaires work for profits. Well, the middle class, well, they work for wages. And, you know, Jim Rohn said it, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, right? Profits are better than wages, right? So we have to find a, ma a way to make a profit. If all you're doing right now is, you know, earning a living and, and you have a check and that check is awesome, but it's, you know, a wage, somebody else is in control of how much you can make, we got to find a way to generate some profit because that's how we're going to get you on the path to being a millionaire. All right, next one. Millionaires believe that they must be generous and Middle class, they believe that they can't afford to be generous. You know, in, in the Bible, it says a generous man will prosper. He who refreshes others will himself be refreshed. That's actually one of my favorite verses. And I've had that quote on my business card for like 10 years. Love it because, you know, when you operate out of a spirit of abundance, out of a spirit of generosity, you know, number one, it comes back to you tenfold many, many times over. But, you know, you get so much other blessing besides just the thing, whatever that is, you're personally fulfilled because you bless other people. And you know what? They feel, they feel indebted, indebted and there's a reciprocity that takes place. So that is really, really important. All right. So the next one, millionaires have multiple sources of income. Okay. And the middle class, well, they have one or two, you know, like one person works or two person, two people work, right? Um, this is important because if you look back to the recent, you know, plummet of the market a couple of years ago, whether it was the real estate market that you were paying attention to, whether it was a stock market where that whole thing went up in smoke, right? Our country has gone through some tumultuous times. And if all your eggs are in one basket, well, them eggs may break, okay? <laughs> so, and you know what? I am living proof of that because we went hard and heavy in real estate. I mean, we had houses all over the place and it was awesome while the market was off. But when that, when the party was over, it was over and, you know, everything landed with a thud and, and, and we had to be left to pick up the pieces of our life. So, you know, having multiple streams of income, it's just a great way of thinking and a great way of doing business. So if you're on that path right now, my thumbs up to you. All right, next one. Millionaires focus on increasing their net worth. What do the middle class do? Well, they focus on increasing their paycheck, right? We got to get out of the paycheck mindset because paycheck is very limited. It's very boxed in. It's very determined by somebody else other than you. And I don't know about you, but I think being in control of your income, being in control of your destiny is pretty darn important. Number 10. We're on the last one. Okay, this is a great one. So here's what it is. Millionaires ask empowering questions. And the middle class, well, they ask the wrong questions. Or ask, they ask disempowering questions. What would be an example? Okay, let's say you are in network marketing. You have some huge goals for this month. How about how can I get to the next level? What is it going to take for me to get to the next level? Who do I need to help? What do I need to do in my business? How can I get there? Okay, the, you know, the middle class are, you know, asking the wrong question is like, why can't I get to the next level? Why is everybody passing me? I'm seeing a rank advance. Woo, 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 woo. Why not me? Right? That's a wrong mindset, right? And so we have to say, how can I, how can we, if you ever have a question and some of us, we have the same questions that go over and over again in our mind, right? If you ever have a question and you're like, shoot. And it, you can just feel it's like plaguing you. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like you are in a spot where it's just 
not good and you have the same thing that's bothering you how do you get over it you have to number one recognize hey i'm asking myself a disempowering question and this is not going to help me that's the first thing number two is hey how can i look at this differently so so i'm gonna have a mindset that's going to serve me in this matter how can i shift what this question is whether it's that whole example of rank advancing it could be you know hey you're trying to you're single and mingling, right? And you're like, hey, how can I find the right person? That's a great question. Instead of, hey, why don't I always get the wrong ones? Why do I always get the losers, right? Changing the kind of questions that we ask ourselves. Questions, my friend, are the answer. If you ask the right question, your brain will go to work on how to fix it for you because you are wonderfully and fearfully made. God made you in his likeness and in his image. And you know what? You have the questions that are gonna come. The answers to your questions are gonna come bubbling out from inside of you because you're brilliant. I mean, what can we say? So those are the top 10 distinctions between the millionaires and the middle class. And I'm just wondering, I got a question for you. Of the things that we talked about, did you identify some different areas in your life that you're like, hmm, I found something I need to change. I found something I need to think a little bit differently about. Because it's so very true. You know what? If we change our thinking, we're going to change our life. If you change your thinking, everything else can change for you. So those are the things that I learned from my buddy, Heat Camera Smith. Feel free to look this book up. I know it's probably showing up backwards. I will drop a picture in the comment section so you guys can see it. Um, but one other thing is that if you're really looking to get to the finish line, you're ready to, you know, finally get that breakthrough, finally get to walk across stage and, you know, win the huge trophy and get the accolades and help a lot more people in your team and, you know, maybe kiss your boss goodbye. I'm not really sure what you want, but if you're finally ready to just get this party started and get this thing done, you know, what I find is that a lot of times we have old mindsets, old way of thinking, and things from the past that kind of like hold on to us. Like you ever seen a ball and chain, right? There's a huge balls kind of awaiting you down and the chain is like going to your ankle and you're trying to run forward and this thing is putting some weight down on you, weight in your mind, and it's not allowing you to do everything that you're called to do. So if that's you and you're like, hey, shoot, I'm ready to, to be done with this. I'm ready to get what, what I know is possible and what I see so many other people around me getting. If that's you, then I have something that will help you get to the finish line. If you click on the link that's listed here in the description, this is the 10 step process for getting your breakthrough and finally rank advancing. Get that, it's something you can go through right when we jump off. And I know that if you take it seriously, if you really commit to what we talk about in there, breakthrough, it's, there's no telling what can happen in your life, in your businesses, in your business, in your relationships, in every different area of your life because those things that we talk about in there are principles for breakthrough, they're principles for success. So feel free to share and pass it along so that you have people in your organization, people in your team that, you know, they might need to hear this message. Maybe they have, you know, a case of, you know, poverty thinking or middle class thinking and it's holding them back. It's holding them down from really what they can accomplish in their life and in their business. So feel free to share it with them. Get the link that I mentioned about so you can get your breakthrough. And, uh, and that's it, guys. Take care, be blessed, and I will see you all next time. For more great training and to receive your free bonus training, the 10 step process for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing, visit summergeronimo.com.